Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. This is up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For Allah, everything is possible. Now it's not about a specific night. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala look at your amal, your action, how much dedication you show, how much concern you are, how much covetous you are to acquire that night. We see that in our day-to-day -day life, you start your fast this morning when everyone else in America was breaking their fast. We pray due to time difference at this time, whereas the same prayer is being done in other part of the world at a different time. And we do not get any issue with that because this is something which we can fathom and understand. So for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless people with that amazing night on any day is a possibility. And it could be that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would want to give a certain individual the blessings of the night on certain night. So it is based on your ishtihad, means the ishtihad of the imam of the time in your area. And you stick with that uh, calendar, that timetable and you hope that you would do your best. That is why it is highly recommended rather than doing one night, you do all ten nights. So inshallah you would find out and you'll be able to get the blessings. It is not just about catching that night and just run away. Rather having a connection. This is a lot of encouragement for people to be in obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Feeling the need to be connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala having yearning to do a lot of extra ibadat, especially in the last 10 nights. Now Rasulullah had all those stuff and he went to his account. He didn't need to increase it any further. Well, why would he do that? And this is why when Sayyidah Aisha anha asked, Ya Rasulullah, why do you do all those long prayers? Your feet are getting swollen. So Rasulullah responded, by saying, Afala akuna abdan shakura. Shall I not be from the grateful servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Should I not show my gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And this is what is required of us. We must be fulfilling our duties towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as much as possible. Don't think about, oh, is it for me or is it for them? Is it like this? How could that be? Is there any sense? This is all a matter of our heart getting connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.